Hey guys, what's up? Welcome in and welcome back to my channel, LaMonica's Lab. If you're new, today in the lab we're going to be discussing the new Hourglass Vanish Liquid Foundation. They did come up with the liquid form, I guess form of the stick, but I'm here to review it, give you my first impressions and my thoughts at the end of the video. So if you're interested in foundation reviews, give this video a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I would love to add you to the fam bam. And without further ado, if you want to see my first impressions and my final thoughts on the foundation, then keep on watching. Alright, so I've already moisturized my face. I've already did my brows. I'm going to go ahead and prime though using the Too Faced Hangover Primer. Um, if you guys missed out on my What's In My Everyday Makeup Stash video, I did mention this primer. I'm almost done, so I'm just going to use it up for the remaining of this month. It's like almost, literally almost done. But thumbs up if you liked that video, if you saw that video. You guys, I haven't worn makeup in like three days. Like, <laughs> like giving your skin that break feels so good. So, and I noticed that when I don't wear makeup for like days in a row, my skin actually looks better and it actually looks better under the foundation. So. If you can go a couple days without wearing some makeup, girl, go ahead. So, anywho, on to the exciting part about this video. I am trying the new Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation. They did have a Vanish uh, Stick Foundation, and I tried this one out before. I was in the shade Golden Tan, and honestly, I really didn't like this stick. Like, so many people raved about this Hourglass Vanish Stick. I was just like... What's the hype? Anywho, they have a new liquid foundation and it finally came in stock at my Sephora. And so I picked up three samples. You guys know I've done this before with my La Mercier, the new La Mercier foundation. I did a pick up samples to see if I like it. And I actually like that one, but we're gonna talk about the Hourglass one today. I have it in the shades. I have three shades. I think I had another one, but I don't know what I did with that little sample bag. But I have shades Golden Tan, Warm Ivory, and Beige. I am going to swatch them on the skin and then we're going to get started. But before we do that, let me tell you a little bit about this foundation. It is a highly concentrated liquid foundation. I'm looking at my notes here. Uh, designed to deliver instant full coverage with just a half a pump. No primer is needed, but I always prime my face before the foundation. So that's why I primed. They're stating that you don't have to prime. Um, it is a full coverage natural finish. It's a liquid formulation and it is for normal combination and oily skin types. It is free of parabens and this product is also vegan and cruelty, -fee cruelty free. And let's see. That's all on the Sephora website. On Hourglass's website, it does tell me it, it is available in 32 shades. So, And it's a fade proof 24 hour long wearing formula that lasts all day. It's an innovative coated pigment creating a smooth, long-wearing application without drying out the skin. So I'm excited to see what this foundation is going to do. That's basically the gist of that foundation. Now, I'm going to swatch each shade and see. Ooh, I think I put too much in that one. When I was watching this in the store, I was like, there is no shade for me. Because there was just, the undertones were just so off. But I'm going to go ahead and try see which is the better shade so starting off with golden tan which was the same shade I had in the stick actually let me swatch the stick first and compare it so this is the stick this is golden tan in the liquid the next one is warm ivory That's a bit light. It looked a little darker in the store. And the last one is beige. These are all looking real yellow. But if you can see, this is the stick, the vanish stick, and then these three are the liquid foundations. All right, so I'm gonna go in with golden tan. And I'm just gonna apply it the typical way that I would. But I'm going to color correct a little bit just on my chin area. I'm going to color correct. 
And I'm color correcting with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Warm Honey. All right, I'm gonna stop right there because it said that it is a full coverage and you only need like a half a pump, but I'm gonna just see what this does with my sponge. Don't judge my sponge. I know that it needs to be cleaned. So this is what it looks like after I've applied it all over my face. I even like brought in my lips a little bit. Um, this is definitely a full coverage foundation for me. It covered up my little my moles. It's super comfortable and lightweight on the skin, so I'm I like that so far. And I just look kind of airbrushed. It's, it's really like wow. It smells good. It's not like a strong like fragrance that you'll think will break you out or something. It's like really fresh. It's really fresh. I, I like the way it feels. I am not going to wear this for a long period of time, but I'm going to give you guys my opinion once I put everything together and my full foundation look and every, um, my full eye look and things like that. Um, but so far, so good. It's super lightweight. It gives you that vanished look like you're just snatched and put together. So I'm liking that so far. Um, as far as the color, I think the color is okay. I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Golden Beige and see like how it acts with concealer and things like that. Down the bridge in my nose, which I always do. So I'm going to go ahead and blend this out. What it looks like with concealer i look a little ghostly just slightly but i'm going to bronze and everything of course once i finish the look i am going to go in with the hourglass veil translucent setting powder this is my first time using this powder as well so we shall see the powder is very soft and lightweight as well very airy so I see that it's starting to break up around my nose. I don't know if it's because I put a lot around my nose area um, and on my chin. But I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face and give my final thoughts as I put the rest of my makeup on. But so far, it's super smooth when you use the um, Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. This stuff is really smooth. The foundation is super soft as well and it's lightweight. I feel like I have nothing on. And once I put everything together, we'll see how it all goes. So I'll be right back with the finished look. All right, guys. So I'm back with the finished look. And this is the look I've created. So my final thoughts on this foundation. It is breaking up a little bit on my nose and on my smile lines. But I didn't set this foundation with any like extra powders like I didn't want it to look too cakey and yeah it's definitely breaking up around my nose and my mouth area I'm not sure if you guys can see that but it is really beautiful on the skin I would suggest this foundation if you're like going out or taking pictures I feel like this will look really nice for like you know going out and taking like really nice pictures this does retail for 56 dollars let me double check that yes this does retail for 56 dollars so if you are interested in a more natural finish type of foundation but a full coverage i would suggest trying to get in a sample at your local sephora and see what you think it feels like i have nothing on the skin so that's a plus for me 
and I think it turned out pretty well with everything else that I use my bronzer my blush my highlighter my eyeshadow and stuff like that so yeah I like it so far like I said it is breaking out right here so this won't be like my go-to automatically just being honest um, but that could be because my sponge was damp and I was putting a lot of I was prancing a lot right here in my mouth area which I try to stray away from so that I can avoid getting the additional creasing all my foundations do that to be quite honest so if you're looking for a new foundation like a luxury foundation this one does come in a beautiful glass bottle then check out the hourglass like I said get a sample from your local Sephora and see how you like it and things like that but yeah so if you like foundation reviews and first impressions type of videos give this video a thumbs up also hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and if you want to see this makeup look stay tuned for that video definitely make sure you have your notification bell on so you won't miss that and yeah, until next time, love, peace, and beauty. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.